me all the money. Every last cent. Come on. In the bag. Come on. Put it in the bag. Hurry up, Sherry. What is your problem? I just want to get home. Bloody pull it again, Toby. Give it to me. You got there, lads? Fresh one. Hasn't been in the water long. So it looks like he wasn't gonna walk away from this. Well, someone else did. He didn't suicide, Jack. It's murder. Oh, yeah. You got any ID? Well, he's only a kid, but he's got military dog tags. What have we got? A.T. Kelly? He's too young to have owned those. Yeah. Okay, you wanna take him back? We'll see you there. Yeah, we'll be right. So you evaluate the information reports that come in? Yeah, that's right. It's my job to confirm. The yeah. validity For example, of those. a report that's been confirmed, it might have a rating of, say, one. I was whereas, say that, Jeff. Um, whereas an unconfirmed report might be given a rating of, say, six. Actually, Jeff, do you want to do the interview? I no, can no, Helen, please. There you are. There, there's your spot. Sure. Please take over. Ah, oh, where was I? Right. Um, okay. So those unconfirmed reports, they will eventually be eliminated from the database. After What's going on over there? Uh, look, I'd rather you didn't film that if you don't mind. The next of kin have yet to be informed. Oh, right. Is there anything else I can get my teeth into? Drug smuggling? Senior Constable Sykes. You can have an interview with him. Hmm, possibly about inland water accidents. That's a joke, right? Miss Beauford, any accident on the water is no laughing matter. After you. That colour's very good on you, Jack. Yeah, thanks. Very nice. What are you talking about? Television reporter, cameras. Hey. Yeah, it'll go down very well. I know I didn't. Maintenance reports are only a small part of what we do here. Most of the time, we're dealing with drug dealers and uh, smugglers, that sort of thing. You know. What's going on in there? Oh, it's a surveillance tape from a bridge. Some guy was thrown off there this morning. Apparently, he got a bullet through his head or something. I don't know. Listen, I was thinking, why don't we get a shot from the Nemesis? You know, we've got the harbour in the background, we've got the boats. Thanks for the interview, Gav. Yeah? Okay, well, yep. you got it all? It's... Yeah, no, you've been terrific. Okay, well, 
Thanks. Thank you. Just play that again. The dog tags belong to an Alastair Kelly. He's not known at his last address. Could have gone country or even interstate. Right. Yeah, thanks. That's the gunshot. Hey, guys. Guys, I've got something for you here. There was an arm pulled up at a service station on Withers Road before 6am. Right? Guy was minding his own business, waiting for his sister to come out of the shops, and this fella puts a gun to his head and right. forces him to drive. A description of the car? What? 1981 Nissan Red. All right, Mick, do you want to check out the servo? I'll see the sister. Sure. That's it. All right, thanks very much, gentlemen. Christy. Yeah, Jack, it's Mick. OK, Mick, what are you got? Yeah, listen, the guy got away with about $500. The big money was in the time lock safe. What about the security camera? Not operating. Look, it all happened pretty quickly. The attendant said he couldn't see the guy's face, but he did see the gun. Uh, local patrol are checking the cars that were parked here today to see if any of them were stolen. All right, what about the hostage? Yeah, matches the guy that went over the bridge. Look, same age, same clothes, similar description. Yeah, look, we... Yeah, just up here. Yeah, we're at his sister's now. All right, I'll talk to you soon, Jeff. Bye. Sharon Kelly. Yeah? Detective Christine Sinclair, Sydney Water Police. You reported that your brother was abducted from the service station hall up this morning. Toby's dead, isn't he? We've recovered a body from the harbour that matches your brother's description. He's dead. We need you to come to the morgue, see if you can identify the body. Thanks, Miss Kelly. Dad's dog tags from the Second World War. Yeah. He gave them to the Toves yeah. on his 21st. Toves was stoked. <laughs> mm. Never took them off. It was just Grandad, me and Toby. Granddad died two weeks ago. Stroke. No, Toby. <laughs> Feels like I'm falling. Sherilyn, in your statement, uh, 
you gave a description of the man who abducted Toby. Mm -hmm. right. Do you mind doing that again for our delicate people so we can get a right message? Toby had everything going for him. Good job, good friends, loving sister. Toby pulled up at this service station to get petrol, unaware of Switch the other operation occurring no, inside. No, I he parked his car, innocently blocking the perpetrator's getaway and sealing his own fate. He was abducted at gunpoint, made to drive to this bridge, and murdered with a single gunshot. Switch it off, Alex. No. How the bloody hell did that woman get hold of that? He never had a chance. Secure. Didn't get the tape from us. I reckon she might have slipped the security guard 50 bucks, you know? Well, you better be right, Jack. Come in. Thanks, Tineski. I want to know where you got the surveillance tape from. Well, hello to you too, Inspector. Good journalists never reveal their sources. This is a murder investigation. It is not a photographic opportunity. A man is dead. A family is grieving. We have a job to do, and I will not allow you to compromise that. I have a job to do too, Inspector Hawker. And I want you to finish it ASAP. I'd kick you out of here right now, except I'd probably read headlines in tomorrow's paper about police censorship. Now, I want you to complete your interviews with the divers and the boat crew about their normal working conditions, and that's it. Oh, give me a break. My AP will kill me if I go back now with a fluff piece. I don't care. You can take it or you can leave it. Now, get the hell out of my station. Janewski, take Miss Beaufort down to the boat crew. Thank you very much, Charlotte. Is that Toby Kelly's sister? Has to be. Hi. Surprise, surprise. None of the prints lifted from the servo are on record, right? Oh, that's great. Yeah, but get this. They found a lighter near the counter. They dusted it off. And bingo. Wayne John Stewart. All right. Wayne John Stewart. Date of birth, 9th, 9th, 71. In and out of the can since he was a kid. I mean, it's pretty minor stuff. It's car theft, robbery, and he's got no price for violence. Then why would he kill Toby? I don't know. What, what, what do you think, he panicked? Well, I, I don't know, mate. I don't know. Mate. Maybe he figured on getting more than 500 bucks, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, do you want to organise a search warrant for his place? I'll get yeah, on the sure, way. Sure. There's your face image, as described by Sherilyn. Right. I think she was making it up. The guy was wearing a mask. <laughs> oh, she's clutching at straws. It looks nothing like Wayne Stewart. I want to get him in. I want to have a look, all right? I Jack, look at, look at this. I want to get him in. Stuart? He's there. Wayne! John Stewart. Who wants to know? Detective Christie in Sinclair, Sydney Water Police. Your neighbours told us where to find you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be right. Bloody sticky bee. Where were you this morning at six? I have to say nothing. No, you don't, mate. But I know a law-abiding citizen like yourself would just love to help the police with their inquiries. <laughs> Piss off. Hey. <laughs> You want to get down, mate? Get down. Yeah, maybe a trip down the station will help you jog your memory. Yeah, look at this. What's going on? Look at this. On average, how many bodies do you recover from the harbour? Well, it depends. Did you recover Toby Kelly's body this morning? Straight in. Yeah, that's right, eh? Pricks, this is harassment. Not yet it is, Danny, mate, but I'll tell you this. what, give me some time. Up the stairs with the detective, thanks. What do you think you're doing? I'll tell you what. Hey. Use that footage on TV and I'll make sure you're charged with contempt of court. Why? Is he the suspect in the Toby Kelly murder? Is he the murder suspect? Interview's over. Come on, let's it's go. Carolyn Kelly, she wants to speak oh, to you. Right. Uh, Donna, I I've got a suspect here. Will you tell her I'll call her back in an hour with an update? OK. Miss Kelly? I was at home having breakfast. OK, you got anyone to back that up? I live alone. The prints were found on a lighter at the service station. What service station? You know the one, mate, the one on Withers Road. So I bought petrol yesterday, so. Mate, Wayne, don't treat me like a mate, mate. It tends to piss me off. Can't hang a guy for buying petrol. Yeah. Yesterday, you cased the service station. This morning, you held it up. Are you going to charge me? Because I know the drill. If you're not going to charge me, I'm out of here. Whatever. Okay. 
Jeff's made it absolutely clear there's to be no discussion with Rebecca about the murder investigation. Yeah, well, that's killed my interview then. Because somehow I don't think she's going to be too interested in routine harbour patrol, you know? Oh, well, there goes your 15 seconds of fame, Jeff. Yeah, thanks. There's a looker in all I know. Mm -hmm. What's Donna doing? I'm really not involved in any of that. You got brothers, constable, sisters? Yeah. Could have been your brother who was shot. Murder like this must affect you. Sorry, Rebecca. This interview is over. Gavin, isn't it? I'm glad you're here. You're Can an experienced off, officer. You must have some insight into these sort of tragedies. Said turn it off now. Got it? Off, Denny. I'd count of things, Constable. I didn't tell her a thing. She's full on, isn't she? Excellent. Let's see if we can get something. Excuse me? Rebecca Beaufort, Sydney Watch News. You were saying something earlier about police harassment? Oh, yeah, they reckon I did over some survey, but they're just trying to fit someone up. She's here. Who? Sherilyn. Already? Yeah. I, I, I thought I said I was going to give her a call. Right, uh, Sherilyn, thanks thanks for coming in. Uh, we'd like you to, to look at the board and see if you can identify the man who abducted your brother. It's him. Are you sure? Do you want to take a good look, like take your time, because he does not match the identity kit that you gave us. I know what I saw, okay? It's him. Actually. I keep telling you, I'm innocent. I didn't do Shut nothing. up, Wayne, you're like a broken record. What's he doing back here again? Wayne Stewart. Yeah. He's been arrested for the kidnapped and murder of Toby Kelly. Yeah, the last time he was here, he was, uh, he's being released. What happened? Cheryl made a positive ID. Something wrong, huh? Apparently. Jack! What? I've got to talk to you for a sec, mate. I've got Stuart in. Yeah, I know. I've got to talk to you. What? Cheryl and saw Wayne Stewart outside the office after he was released. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. How did this happen? I you don't know? know. I don't know. Someone stuffed up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I asked you to tell Sherilyn that I'd phone her back in one hour. Oh, right? No, so what did I you tell her? That. What? She was desperate to know what was happening. Right, what else did you say? Nothing. Oh, really? Really? I did mention that you were questioning someone and that you might have some good news. Yeah, right. So she, thanks, fellas. So she hangs up the phone, right? And she comes straight over here to see who we were questioning. Yes? Yes. Yes. Jeff, look, it's my fault that Sherilyn found out that we were questioning a suspect. Yep. But she's positive about the identification, Chief. Right. And when it comes out that we walked our only witness, passed our only suspect, and then we asked for ID, you're going to be laughed out of court. Wayne is not just a suspect. We have his fingerprints on a lighter at the service station. Circumstantial, Riley. Why don't you find Toby's car? Maybe you'll find Wayne's prints. Or maybe you got the wrong person. You've got nothing to hold him on. Hey, Jack, you gonna even lift back to work? Get him out of here, right? could be very wrong. I promised Cheryl and I'd get him. Well, you're a bloody idiot, Jack, because you of all people should know a lot better. Technicality? Yep. We do not like this any more than you do. No! 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 This doesn't make any sense. He did it. He should be put away and never let out. Sherilyn, you saw Wayne Stewart outside the station before you came here and picked his photo. So? Well, don't you think that's had some influence on your decision in identifying him? You're saying that I see any guy in the street and I pick him out to be a murderer? Look, look we all know that, that you want someone to pay for your brother's death. Yeah. But we have to be very, very sure that it's the right person. It is the right person. <laughs> I'll never forget his smell. His smell? Cigarettes. Mm. 
some other sort of smell. I don't know. He stank. And I smelt it again when I passed him outside. But look, it, you can't identify a person by their smell. It just doesn't hold up in court. I picked his photo. After you saw his face. The face image doesn't look anything like him. Look. My brother is dead. His murder should be punished. But we have a process of law. We have no choice. Do you think my brother had a choice? Oh. Cheryl, listen, this isn't over. We'll keep working on it. You haven't got anything on him, have you? I thought so. Sherilyn Kelly, Rebecca Beaufort, Sydney Watch News. How's the investigation? You don't have to say anything here. The cops screwed up. I identified the killer and now he's walking free. Any comments on these allegations, Detective Christie? Inquiries are continuing. Hey, Sherilyn, give me a ring when you want to talk. Sensational developments in the Toby Kelly case today, with the alleged killer, Wayne Stewart, being allowed to walk free. The victim's sister has alleged the police have been negligent in their investigations. The cops screwed up. I identified the killer and now he's walking free. Any comments on these allegations, Detective Christie? Inquiries are continuing. The police are refusing to comment. Rebecca Beaufort, Sydney Watch News. She is such a vulture. Yeah, she's a reporter. What do you expect? So there's nothing to stop her hanging around, waiting for any carcass that's beginning to smell. That is not what I said. No, I'm with Jack on this one. She's a bloody vampire. Yeah, a vulture, he said. Whatever, Alex. She sucks. Hey, hey. One of the cars parked at the service station has just been reported stolen. Crime scene been over it? They have been over it, and the only prints are the owners. Odd. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, hey. Where are you Jack, going? Jack, where are you going? I'm going to see Wayne Stewart. Tell him we found his getaway car. Yeah, but we don't know yet, Jack. your problem, mate? Found your getaway car, Wayne. Whole thing was a complete stuff up from the start to the finish, wasn't it? Put up with this shit. Why'd you kill him? Huh? Why didn't you just take his car and let him go? Hey? Oh, oh, this is a real clever idea. Hey? Look, this is my place of work, right? You've got no right to come Listen, here and Wayne, me out like you're this. You're in deep shit already, all right? Don't make it any worse. I've already told you you've got the wrong guy. Cheryl, listen, you shouldn't be here. What are you doing? Get out of here, detective. Cheryl, listen, give me the gun. What the hell's going on? You murdered my brother. He murdered my brother. Cheryl, let you and I walk away from this together. Get out of here. We'll just leave together, head, lady. right? I had nothing to do with it. Cheryl. Stop! Just stop! Give me your gun. Your gun! No! Handcuff him. Move it! What do you think you're doing? Don't listen to I've her. already got a reason to kill you. Shut up! Move! Back up! Listen. Move it! Get in the boat. Get in the boat! Move it! Started. Move! Police launch nemesis, this is VKG Sydney Water Police. This is the police launch nemesis. We've had a report from a shipyard owner of Wayne Stewart and another man being forced onto a boat at Woolwich by a woman with a gun. Got any idea where they're headed? Towards the harbour bridge at last sighting. Yeah, okay, copy that. Gav, we think the other man could be Jack Christie. Right, we're on our way. I'll get Jack's mobile. Hey, turn it off! 
I've got to answer it. Oh! Look, somebody would have heard the gunshot back at the boat shed by now. No, the police will be it. looking for me. No, turn it off. Hey, Gav. Starboard bow. Yeah, that's Jack, all right. Vic AG Sydney Water Police, this is the police launch nemesis. Go ahead, nemesis. Jack is on the boat. The woman with the gun is Cheryl and Kelly. Oh, bloody stupid woman. Do not approach or intercept, just keep under surveillance. Yeah, copy that. Jack's phone switched off. I'm going to get out there. Sorry, Mick and Alex can go. I'll get onto the SPG. I... Dineski, get onto Rock. We might need the divers as backup on this one. Jeff, I can handle the situation until the SPG get there. Helen. Jeff, I've done this number before. Okay. Dial the number! What do you want me to do? You want me to drive this boat? You want me to dial the number? Do it! What do you want, Cheryl? Do it! Rebecca Bowford. She's a tabloid hack! Do it, us! I swear to God, I'll kill him now! What's over there? It's Fort Denison. It's ringing. Hand it over. I want you to head over there. Look, I swear to God, if you get the press involved, this will blow up in your face. I mean, what can she do for you? Not her, him! He'll tell her the truth! Rebecca! It's Cheryl and Kelly! You want your story? Head to Fort Denison now! Sherilyn, listen, listen, I want to help you out, right? But I don't want to see anyone get hurt. Just put the gun down. Guns are your last defence. That's what my granddad used to say. I came to you lot first and you're stuffed up. This is all I've got now. No! Next time I'll kill you. Get up! My God! You scared, Wayne? How does it feel? When you pointed your gun at my brother, did you think about how he would have felt? Oh, crazy. Jesus. That's all right, man. Just a flesh wound. Hey! What's going on? <laughs> Next time I'll kill you too. Get up! VKG, Sydney Water Police, Police Launch Nemesis. We marked out a perimeter to stop all other boats from coming in. Right, sir. We're getting the Harpy in position on the east side of the port. SPG are on their way. Do you tell Sergeant Blakemore that there is no phone line on the fort? It's Helen, Jeff. Listen, we're still trying to make contact with Sherilyn. It's a volatile situation, Helen. I want you to take it easy out there. We got the media circus coming to town. Okay, it's under control, Jeff. Why it's would under control. Me that Rebecca would miss an opportunity like this. Get after them. Get them out of here. Keep clear, damn it. Keep clear.
can stop this right now. Get him up there. I can't. Help him. Go. Killing him won't bring your brother back. Revenge isn't sweet. It'll just wreck your life. I don't care about my life. Do it. The Navy clearance divers are on their way. Tactical unit is ready to mobilize now. If they get a clear view, they take her out. Ellen Jack's up there. Sherilyn won't talk to us because she has no demand. She wants to kill Wayne and we can't guarantee Jack's safety. This is the only way, Jeff. Alright. Target is in the tower. Go in. Repeat, go in. Copy that. Let's go, guys! Get back! Turn that camera off or it's going in the drink! Alright, turn it off. There are people's lives at stake here. Hey, May, you are ten seconds away from losing your license if you don't get the hell out of here. Rebecca Beaufort. I want you to film this guy's confession. Bring your crew! Bring whatever! Sherilyn. What? What does she want? I want you to film it now! She wants us to film Wayne's confession from the wharf. Did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you, Sherilyn. Just, just a moment. Get Helen, get Helen. Just keep her on yeah, the Helen, line. Keep her on the Listen, line. Listen, we've got Sherilyn on the phone to the journalist, and she wants the film crew to film Wayne's confession. What do you want us to do? Look, if he confesses, it's likely she'll kill him. But no contact, no control. <laughs> Cameraman, you do everything right, they're getting into position hey? now, Helen. What the hell is going on? Are you ready? Rebecca! for our people to get into position, OK? You let him start his confession, right? And then you tell her that we have a technical problem. pointed at him. Listen, I thought you wanted the truth. This is not the truth.
Wayne Stewart kills my brother in cold blood. I killed. I don't know his name. Toby. His name is Toby. Kill Toby in cold blood. Interrupt him now. Interrupt him. Uh, uh, Wayne, can you hold on a minute, mate? We, we seem to have a technical problem. Wait. The killer deal. Um, uh, they're having some sort of trouble. They've stopped filming. It doesn't matter. <laughs> God heard you. Get out. What you want, right? Now walk away from this. Move it! Back up! Move it! You heard me move! Move! Kneel down! Kneel down! Please don't shoot me. I don't want to die. Neither did Toby. Why'd you kill him? Why? It was an accident. You've got to believe me. It was an accident. He parked me in and I, I told him to drive to the bridge. And he just wouldn't get out. I told him to get out. He wouldn't move. He wouldn't move. I told him to get out of the bloody car and he wouldn't move. Got out of it. He went off. He cracked it and it went off. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, just... I'm sorry, too. Sharon, Sharon, listen to me. Listen, listen to me. Remember when you told me that you felt like you were falling, right? And that there was nobody there to catch you. Do you remember? Well, I'm here. I'm here. But you've got to help me. You've got to help me. You can't kill Wayne. You can't kill him. You kill Wayne. You kill yourself. Come on, reach out to me. I said, I said, I'll catch you. Wouldn't you? You can do a chair. Come on, this is it. This is over. Are you all right, Jack? Come on.
Toby's car. Wayne's fingerprints were found on and around the cigarette lighter. He must have taken his gloves off to have a smoke. Yeah. You nailed him. You okay, Jack? Yeah. You'll be charged with the abduction and murder of your brother. Found evidence. He confessed? Under duress. <sighs> Means nothing. Meant nothing. Cheryl and Kelly, you are under arrest for the kidnapping of Wayne Stewart and Detective Sergeant Jack Christie. You're not obliged to say or do anything unless you wish to do so. But whatever you do or say may be used in evidence. Do you understand that? Okay. Jack, you all right? Oh, yeah. Well, it looks like they're going to be putting Wayne away for quite a while. Yeah, yeah, Cheryl as well. Yeah, well, you can't take the law into your own hands, Jack. Cheryl and Kelly, already dubbed the Avenging Angel, is led away from the siege a tragic figure. While none of us can condone violence, the question must be asked. If the police did their job properly in the first place, would Cheryl and Kelly be in the position she is now? Rebecca Beaufort, Sydney Watch News.